So now I've got the transmitter and all the sensors installed, let's have a look at the display. So we're in the usage mode, so this is now just looking at how much energy the house is using. Uh, we can look at that in three different ways. The first way is watts, um, pure and scientific but a little bit abstract. If we tilt the watts in, it flips into pounds per year mode. So this is how much it would cost if we kept everything the same for the whole year. So it's a hypothetical number, we're not saying it's what your bill would be, but because whenever you turn anything on or off you see this change, that will let you understand how much everything uses compared to everything else so you start making a bit more intelligent decisions and work out how to save a lot of energy. Uh, if we tilt it again, then it goes into carbon mode. So this is how much carbon would be emitted based on what we're doing right now, again, if we carried on for a whole year. If I press the button on the top, then we change from usage mode to grid mode. Now this is Watson's USP. Uh, because we're able to measure usage and generation, this is the figure that shows your net position. So anytime it's positive, that means you're actually bringing energy into the house. Um, so it's getting quite late in the afternoon now, so although there is some generation going on, it isn't enough to cancel out all the usage there is in the house. So this is a positive figure. At around midday, this was negative, saying about minus two kilowatts. But as you can see, we're not generating much power now. And we can confirm that by pressing that again. This is now just solar. So this is saying that we're only generating 190 watts right now. Uh, if I press it once more, then this is a new feature of Watson Solar Plus compared to Watson Solar. Um, we've only just hooked this up, so it's a low number, but this is how much you've earned from the generation today. And you can either see that in pounds, or you can see the number of units, so U for units as in kilowatt hours. And if we tilt it again, then it's how many kilograms or tons of carbon you have effectively saved. Press that one more time. You can get rid of the numbers and just have the colours. And night mode, no numbers, just one colour. And clock mode gives you the time and intermittently will tell you how much power you're using. So to explain the colours, Watson learns your normal behaviour. Anytime you're using your average, like we are roughly now, it's glowing half red, half blue. As you use more and more, it gets redder and redder. And as you use less and less, it gets bluer and bluer. Anytime you're a net exporter, so the grid figure goes negative, then this will actually glow pure green. So anytime it's green, that's a pretty special thing and it means that your solar panels are generating more than you're using. And that's a good time for you to then use more energy doing things that you would do later so that you don't have to buy the energy back from the grid at a higher price. Uh, Watson is also storing all this information. You can download it from USB. It's got a 28-day memory and using the USB connection you can also update your tariff information. Uh, so that's a very quick introduction to Watson. Uh, thank you very much.